Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have prepared six different examples for this video, and let's try number one. In number one, we have one half plus one over eight. So to add these two fractions, first we need to find the LCD. The different the denominators are two and eight. So the target that we need is to find the LCD. So there are different ways on how to find the LCD. Some of them are using listing method. Ulit isa pang take two. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So from the previous comments that I read from our different videos, uh, they are asking if we could create a video where in sama sama na yung ano, yung addition, subtraction, multiplying, and dividing fractions. So meron na kaniyang six different examples, and we will try to answer the four different examples and the last two ay magiging task nyo in solving or after this video. So let's start with number 1. In number 1, we are asked what is 1 half plus 1 over 8. So this one is addition. So what we need to do here first is to find the least common denominator. Meron kasi tayong denominators which is 2 and 8 which is different. So ang kailangan kasi natin dito maging common yung denominator. So given this 2 and 8, the least common denominator is 8. So we can put here all over 8. Now, sir, paano ba natin kinakuha yung denominator na, or yung least common denominator? Pwede kang gumamit ng ano, uh, list, listing method para makuha niyo yung LCM of 2 and 8. So pag nilista niyo yan, it will become parang ganito siya. Pakita ko na rin sa inyo. 2, 4, 6, 16, and so on. We're just listing the multiples of 2. And for 8, so we have 8, 16, 24, and so on. As you can see, we have common multiples here, which is 8. Yes, sir, we also have 16. Ah, hindi yan. Kasi ang kay target natin dito, makuha natin yung list common multiple, which is equal to 8. And then, this list common multiple 8 will serve as your LCD or your list common denominator. So what's next is this this common denominator ay kailangan natin siyang i-divide dito sa original denominator which is 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 4 and then multiply. 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 we have now 4 plus 8 divided by 8 which is equal to 1 times 1 that is equal to 1. Again, let me repeat the process. First, you will divide this LCD to your original denominators and then multiply it to the numerator. So what we have now is 4 plus 1 over 8. And we need to simplify this. And the answer here is 5 over 8. By the way, guys, before um, declaring that your answer is the final answer, you need to check if the given fraction is already in simplified form. So, paano natin malalaman kapag ano, kapag simplified na siya? Kapag wala na siyang ano, common factor. Okay? So, therefore, this is the final answer. We have 5 over 8. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have 6 over 7 minus 2 over 3. As you can see, we have different denominators again. So, primarily, we need to find the LCD. Okay? So, by the way, I need to write the answer here, which is 5 over 8. So let's continue. Our denominators are 7 and 3. So knowing the LCM, which is 21, so our LCD is 21. So let's repeat the process. Divide, multiply. 21 divided by 7 is 3 times 6, that is equal to 18. And then copy this operation, minus 
21 divided by 3, that is 7. Again, 21 divided by 3 is 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. We need to simplify our numerator. 18 minus 14, which is equal to 4, over 21. This is now the final answer, guys. It's already simplified. One well, time common factor. So we have 4 over 21. And this is also 4 over 21. So we are done with addition and subtraction. So let us proceed with multiplication and division. So what we have here is item number 3. For number 3, we are given 1 half times 7 over 8. Remember guys, ah, um, there's a method of cancellation. But ang gagawin natin dito ngayon sa number 3 is yung common way natin, which is simply multiplying the numerators and numerators, and eventually, uh, we will simplify our answer. Here, we have 1 times 7, that is equal to 7 over 2 times 8, that is equal to 16. If you are good with simplifying fraction, you already know that 7 over 16 is already in lowest term. So, we will say that 1 half times 7 over 8 is equal to 7 over 16. Now, let's continue. For number 4, this is division. We have 6 over 7 divided by 2 over 5. Okay? So, what we need here, remember this guys, eh? when you're dividing fraction, uh, you, after, uh, no, you will go through multiplying fractions again. First, we need to copy the first fraction. We have 6 over 7. Again, copy the first fraction. Next, this division symbol or operation, you will change this into multiplica multiplication. Next, you will find the reciprocal of 2 over 5, which is 5 over 2. Again, copy the first fraction. This division symbol, you need to change this into multiplication symbol. And then for the second fraction, you need to get the reciprocal of it, which is 5 over 2. Parang if you flip mo lang, or you, were, you will interchange the position of your numerator and denominator. And then go with multiplication. So when we need to multiply this. 6 times 5, which is equal to 30, and then 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. So as you can see, um, the two numbers, 30 and 14, are both divisible by 2. So we can divide this by 2, okay? And then as you can see, 30 divided by 2 is 15 over um, 14 divided by 2, which is equal to 7. By the way, guys, we can also convert this into mixed number. Sir, paano po ginagawa yun? Parang ganito lang. 15 divided by 7. Uh, 15 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 7 is... Ah, uh, sorry. 15 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. And then you will subtract this. We have 1. So dito ngayon, yung quotient natin is 2. Okay? That will serve as your whole number, it's a mixed number. And then, this is your remainder, 1. You will put it here in your numerator. And then, for the denominator, you will copy the original denominator of your 15 over 7. That's why, the correct answer here is 2 over 7 or 15 over 7. Either of the two pwede yan, pero I will just write 2 and 1 over 7. So, bakit po accepted itong, ano, itong 15 over 7? Because they are equal. Some of the teachers are not uh, asking the students to convert their final answer in mixed number. So, pwede rin yan. Now, guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Now, it's your turn to answer number 5 and number 6. In number 5, we are given 1 over 9 divided by 3 over 8. In number 6, okay, in number 6, you are given 3 over 4 times 5 over 2. So, titignan ko sa ating comment section yung magiging sagot nyo dito. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget 
to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!